We're learning more about a proposed electricity rate hike in Massachusetts that we first told you about last night. Today, we went straight to National Grid for answers about what the increase could mean for customers across southern New England. Eyewitness News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now with the new details he's uncovered. Well, it's kind of a mixed bag of percentages for Massachusetts residents and Rhode Islanders. You'll have to wait. Another winter ahead, another rate hike for National Grid customers, but it isn't all bad news. What's happened is that the cost of electricity, the cost of generating electricity, particularly during the winter months, has gone up. Starting November 1st, if approved by regulators in the Bay State, the rate will rise by 21%. Keep in mind, though, that's over the much lower summer bill customers are charged. So even though it's an increase, it's actually 9% cheaper than last winter. Plus, the hike may not last long. At the, on the other side of it, uh, come next spring, they'll be seeing some more warm weather months, so their rates would likely go down. Rhode Islanders are on different rate calendars than Bay State residents. The new rate, according to National Grid, will be charged in January. It's unknown what it'll be. Right now, those, those numbers are being calculated, and we don't have a real clear picture right now as to exactly what uh, we're going to be asking the Public Utilities Commission to approve. With all these increases, National Grid wanted to make it clear that they actually make no money off of these rate increases. They only make a profit off of the delivery charge, and they say the delivery charge has not changed in several years. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.